What's going on guys? My name's Dalton. Today we're doing episode 3 of Hogwarts. I just got hit by a book. And um, yeah, let's do this. So last episode, we um, went through our classes. Um, we did some dueling. And now we're going to report to Professor Ron. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the dark arts tower. So we gotta go this way. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Levioso! Got it. There we go. Nice. Cool. Okay. Collect a flying page in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. So this would be. A flying page here. must be around here somewhere. Um. I don't see one. Oh. There it is. Levioso! Accio! Nice. Return to Professor Ronan. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit Ooh, of your hero. magic. Here we go. The mending charm repair can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. There we go. All right. So this is the um, statue that we to repair. Gonna go a little repair. do a bit of repairing. Nicely done. Works like a charm, nice. doesn't it? <laughs> and there it is. All right, we're gonna meet Natty near the entrance to Hogwarts. Hello, looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I 
was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Go into her. Really? Yes. Let's go. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Mm. Okay. Nice. From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why can we already name them? That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off-limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off-limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. Dude, that looks insane. Oh I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the I kinda wanted cat. to pet the cat, but... Looks a bit worse <laughs> for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys. Ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <sighs> Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Here we go. So this is Hogsmeade. And here we are. 
It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different science shops and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guides and map. Alright. Show shops and points of interest. You can track any of these by highlighting the icon and pressing X. Press circle to X Hogsmeade map. Okay. Oh my god, I can't wait to freaking get on the brooms. Shops and points of interest. Ooh, so we can... I'm gonna go to the clothing shop. Hello. So this robe gives me four offense, and it looks kind of good. I look way different than everybody else. Nice. An inquiring mind. Hello, my friend. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Um, 
Fighting table with a small pot, spell craft. There we go. Pawn station. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. It doesn't look like I can buy anything yet. Um, I can sell my glasses for 30. <laughs> that ain't gonna work, Chief. Now we're gonna go to Ollivander. Merlin's blooming beard, not a gem. I'll be right with. Oh. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Ooh, we're getting a brand new one. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Oh. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Whoa. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Um. <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks You're like have to it's work back on... to the shelf for you. Uh, I, like the, I like the fireworks one. This though. is proving to one? be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. I'm an um, good monster. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh man, I think this is the one I um got on the website for doing the quiz or whatever. So um, notched warm brown, wand style. Curious indeed. Different wood too. Okay. How intriguing. Ooh. I might do the white one. The white one's kind of cool. Slightly yielding, thirteen and three quarter inches. Curious indeed. Um. I'm gonna go back to Hazel. There's a quite a lot of purpose and power for magic. Consistent. Great range. Um. I'm gonna do a dragon. dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly. You go to 14. <laughs> And that's it. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Extraordinary. 
<laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Right. What can I do for you today? So you gotta get the Adura's Potion Recipe and the Wigan Wheel. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I don't even know what most of this stuff is and what I can... Oh, oh, hang on. That's a health potion right here. Um, Alright. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. 
Let's get the density seed. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, I'm... I'm broke. Well, Sorry, that's buddy. everything. <laughs> Better go and find Natty. Ah, I have everything. Hello, I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. What is that, bro? Oh! Are we about to have a freaking long fight? Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! I need to run up the faster, bro. Is there another one? Oh my god. Yep, this is my way to dodge. Alright, let's do this. Get a trophy. Troll with the punches. Goodness, a second troll. Oh Did you two take God. on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what he wants. Oh, you? You're gonna go? Okay. Well, I guess I'll... repair the... Shit, and deliver the Amazon packages. Ah, oh, shit. Repair. Ah, good escape. Off on another players. adventure, are we? So I can. Oh, I guess it's already taken. All right. There we go. Fix Repair. The Amazon package. Stack them all on up. You're ready to get delivered via FedEx. And this is the. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Go. Nice. All 
There's one more piece that is broken. They went this way, so wouldn't there be... Yeah, there we go. Repair. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks oh, for what wow. you did today. Um, I really want some new robes. Um, I'm gonna say thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Traditional school robe. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. This looks like the same one that was I was wearing before, but okay. You won't be disappointed. That's a nice. See a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Gear screen. Current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. All right. Oh, so these are different. This one is just an upgraded school room. Nice. Um, all right. <clears throat> I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Absolutely. Just down this way, then. <laughs> I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. At a later date, my friend, at a later date. Follow Natty to the three. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Oh. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor I Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. This is not good. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well.
No, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. Wait, I'm... what? <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Is this a glitch or what's going on here? Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Uh, Is that right? Uh, well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Are... <laughs> uh. Oh, timely. Uh. Was that Lodgog I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying uh, a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. I don't think we should go out the front. Can't door. drink butter beer forever. Sneak out, because they're going to be checking this place. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Yep, yeah, I think I want to go back to the castle too. I don't think we should go out this way. Good idea. Oh my god. I just want to see this in the game at night. Dude, this looks insane. Alright. Let's just go back to the castle. I'm kind of... I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Okay. Oof. Get me back to the freaking... Uh, select the Hogwarts map button. Switch to the Hogwarts castle. Where's my common room? <laughs> Get me to the common room. <sighs> I don't want to be out here anymore. Okay. Um, this is the common room, right? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Travel. So.